So, it's kind of funny, before we get into this um, episode review, it's kind of funny because um, when the whole um, when the whole Into Deep uh, event was going on, and it was revealed that Steven can quintessentially possess people through their body, you know, uh, via a mind transplant, I had this fun idea of, like, I, real I, had the I just passingly said it would be a fun episode of Lars... I mean, excuse me, Stephen traveling into Lars's body because he, you know, he idolizes him, idolizes him so much, and have it spend the day as Lars. And guess what? That was the whole point of this episode. <laughs> so yeah, the episode is pretty much the day in the life of Lars, but with Stephen. Um, this was a lot of fun because we get to see more of Lars and Sadie, and Quinn essentially more like it's not fun being a teenager, especially if that teenager's name is Lars. Because we all thought, no, uh, Lars just lashes out because he doesn't want anyone to see the real him. Yeah, it's kind of obvious he's kind of an asshole 24-7. Also, I didn't want to see his ass, but we did. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a list of things I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't want to see, but I got anyway, unfortunately. Anyway... So, this episode delves into more of Lars's life, and it's very clear that he's an asshole at home, as well as an asshole, you know, he tries way too hard around, you know, the, uh, the rest of the teens like Jenny, Sour Cream, and Buck. And I also love, like, when he just acts completely out of character, no one questions it. In fact, they're actually more happy about it. Like, they're just so fucking sick of his shit that seeing him in a brighter mood is actually a more welcome thing, rather than go, you're acting weird, you're not acting like the real Lars. It's more like, oh, I like this new Lars. This <laughs> I can get behind a Lars like this. So, it's also a very scary thing that I just real I realized, and it's very clear in this episode, of um, basically, Steve when Steven possesses people via dreams, he he blocks them out. They don't switch bodies apparently, they they go away. Like, there's nothing left of that body of, you know, that's, uh, that um, subconscious of that other person. It's Steven, 100%. That's horrifying. That is subtextually horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Also, earlier in the episode, when, St when Lars and Sadie are, you know, when, when Sadie's asking, hey, do you want to come over and watch some movies with me? And Sit and Lars literally says, no, I'm going to go hang out with Buck. And and I'm like, you idiot, listen for the words. Listen for the words, you idiot. Stay at home with a lady. You fucking idiot, listen to the words. She's quintessentially saying, Netflix and chill, you moron. <laughs> yeah, and then again, it brought up, um, it's brought up later in the episode, and I don't mean to be like, oh, you're being perverted. Nah, I, I just know how teenagers work. <laughs> so, when you say the words come over to my house and watch some movies, that transitions to Netflix and chill. You know it. I know it. The whole goddamn world knows it. So I'm pretty sure that was, you know, at the end of the episode, it might look like Lars and Sadie might be a couple in the future, and I like that. I like Lars and Sadie a lot, so even though Lars is a complete asshole, he hasn't reached Robbie level at the levels of asshole yet. But he got really close here, but it looks like he might be taking a step back and being like, Hey, being an asshole got me nowhere. Maybe I should try being, you know, nice. Starting with Sadie. Um, also to bring something up, uh, in terms of koalas or sloths, I'd go with sloths. Because sloths actually do, don't eat poop. Also, koalas can give you STDs. Yeah. Koalas can give you STDs. That's... That's, I'm not making that up. That's a proven thing. Just saying. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, this episode it was a nice little slice of life episode, and I just like wow. I just made the I just made that as a joke. I can't believe this was an a, a, there was an entire episode revolving around that idea. <laughs> I just can't believe that we actually had an episode centered around that whole story, more or less. So yeah. Um, so you guys tell me, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, just comment below, let me know, and yeah, tomorrow is the, uh, the return of Stevani. Yeah, Steven and Connie are fusing again. Awesome. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so yeah, I'm really, of course, I'm really looking forward to seeing Stephen and Connie hang out because they're super durable together. So, uh, and again, seeing their fusion once more is again really freaking awesome. So. Yeah, of course I'm hyped for tomorrow's episode. But once again, you guys tell me, what did you guys think of the real Lars? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Just comment below, let me know. And once, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. One more thing I want to bring up just real quick before I, you know, um, just one more thing I want to bring up real quick. Um, I laughed at the... <laughs> at the utter cheesiness of the of the Twilight ripoff and showing that, you know, <laughs> just have just have Jake and Edward you should have just had Jake and Edward um be the couple. And it's clear that they, that everyone would have preferred that too and no sign of Bella Swan everywhere. I mean yeah it's still they're still pretty bad characters, but it would have you know would have caused less of pain, if you know what I mean, for everybody around. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that up that they that um, <laughs> it's clear to see Rebecca who Rebecca Sh Sugar ships in Twilight in the Twilight fandom. Not saying that I'm a I'm not a Twilight fan, but I guess Rebecca or the, whoever wrote this episode is or just wanted to make a fun parody of it. Well, it's probably the latter. That no, um, that's probably what it was. Was that yeah they just want to make a fun joke, fun joke that makes a lot more sense than the whole goddamn Twilight series. And you gotta give them credit for that. So once again, you guys tell, um, you guys just comment below. Let me know um, what you guys think of this episode. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you guys later.